Welcome to the Windows channel and this is the quick look and review of the latest build of Windows 10. Build 14955 of Redstone 2 was released today on October 25th. And uh, this build, of course, is uh, also available for mobile, if you have a Windows 10 Mobile Insider, for fast ring only. So the install went super well, no problems. It was really just installed in about 45, 50 minutes which is usual. Uh, released today at 1 p.m. on October 25th. Basically, it doesn't have a lot of new stuff, um, but it is very stable from my usage that I've done uh, pretty intensely, uh, intensively all uh, day today. So what's uh, new here? Well, there's a rebranding and a transformation of the Outlook mail because uh, they are now calling this Outlook mail now. So up the updated the mail app, it's called Outlook mail. And uh, it has the possibility that you can open an email message in a new window. You can now use the quick actions directly from the new email notification. So when you get an email notification here, you can actually use the quick actions directly to get into the email. And finally, get someone's attention you can actually type the at symbol anywhere in the body of your email and start typing to pick up the person you want to address. So if you do a new mail uh, and you're in the body of the message, you can actually, uh, a little bit like Twitter, at something and see that uh, you've got, you know, the attention of somebody, basically. Now, um, of course, the calendar also has been updated. Uh, but um, they're not telling of any new features. So when you are here, you can of course go to the calendar if you want. Uh, it has been updated also. It's a little nicer as you see here. Um, quick, here it says quickly move an event. So you can actually now take an event and move it from one place to another inside your uh, app, which is quite interesting. So uh, these are new little, you know, few little things that uh, make it a little easier to use basically uh, the uh, calendar app if you want uh, in this uh, Windows 10, of course, uh, operating system. Uh, context, context awareness in Narrator. So as you navigate around, you can uh, be notified about different groups or areas where you are. Uh, that was one of the biggest flaws in uh, the Narrator. It doesn't necessarily know the context of where you are and what you're doing. And they've added uh, the context now so that it's easier to see and that it can actually follow you and let you know, of course, um, uh, with, with its voice where you are at. So you can cycle through options and so on. So it's pretty, uh, pretty nice. Now, one of the things that you also need to know is that tomorrow morning, uh, October the 26th, Microsoft is holding an event at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. And we know that we're going to actually learn more about Redstone 2 and what's to come in the future. So that's going to be interesting to see tomorrow. Um, and probably why they've released the, the build today before all of this happens. Um, as part from the very few new features that I've just mentioned, of course, there are some uh, things that are fixed or not. Um, one of the things that, of course, um, improved in all, you can now draw along the protractor and have the de degree visual remaining visible. So we're talking here about uh, this famous protractor that they've had it last time. Uh, when you look at the uh, options here, so now we had a protractor and now you can actually have a visible degree. So here it says, you see, it gives you the degree. It tells me here uh, the degree of angle and everything. So you can have that that wasn't there before. Uh, they fixed an issue causing you to be unable to sign in to apps such as Feedback Hub and Groove and MSN News. That was a problem last time. If you were logged out of these apps, you couldn't get back in. So uh, now you can with your Microsoft account. Uh, fixed a lot of touchpad and precision touchpad issues where there's a lot of problems where things weren't appearing right. So once again, if you are an insider and you have one of the latest um, laptops that have precision touchpads, make sure that you go into the settings and that you check out 
uh, all of these options. Uh, all you have to do is go into Devices and on the left side, go into Touchpad and check out for additional settings. So here you have a little more settings now. So medium sensitive, the sensitivity of my touchpad and so on. There's also additional settings. But for you guys that have a precision touchpad, you have other settings that are also available that weren't before. So even for people that have a regular touchpad, you can see here there's now sensitivity uh, adjustments available here. Uh, fixed issue where four finger gestures uh, graphic would be viewable in the settings. Uh, fixed issue where the popular graphics app paint.net where horizontal scrolling was broken. Uh, fixes to narrator. So many little fixes to narrator in this build. Uh, also updated the trusted platform module management, the TPM. So uh, also fixed uh, issue for the task manager always uh, opening with the default view. Fixed issue where attempting uh, to partition a USB drive with disk part would fail. Fixed issue where certain USB drives were failing to mount automatically. Fixed issue where accessi accessibility, uh, accessibility settings were fa failing to roam down level. Uh, also fixed issue where settings would crash when copying hard drive properties from Wi-Fi settings page. Fixed issue where files are no longer automatically selected after being pasted. Uh, fixed issue resulting in not being able to enter input into the time or place fields uh, and creating a reminder in Cortana. They, fixed, they updated the advanced tab and device properties window in the sounds control panel to now add, uh, allow you to select the following sample um, rates as default. So they uh, had problems with that. USB audio 2.0 devices are not named based on make model device rather than just generic. And a fixed an issue caused Microsoft Edge to crash when using the share button. And um, of course there are known issues, one known, two known issues. If you have third party antivirus, you will be rolled back. So it means to upgrade to 14955, remember to uh, disable your antivirus. And insiders may experience the Windows Ink workspace crashing when using the Protractor. That was last time also. So if you are trying to use the Ink Space and the Protractor, uh, when you click Protractor, it crashes. Uh, it could be normal. They're still searching uh, for the reason why this is happening. So that's pretty much it. Not a lot of new stuff, but it is a, an, another, you know, very solid build, uh, 14955. So if you want to look at it, check out the details, go into your, um, you know, um, in the fast ring, go into your Windows update, check out the latest version, and uh, hopefully everything is all right. If you have installed this build, let me know, and let me know what's, uh, what's good and what's bad uh, on your computer using the latest build of Windows 10. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us a thumbs up and hopefully you enjoy your videos. Thank you for watching.